Welcome to GP Strategies EMEA Learning Series. I'm Karen Ward from GP Strategies in the UK and today we'll be talking about using video in learning. I'm joined today by GP Strategies colleague Tim Clay. So Tim, why are we here today? Well Karen, I thought I'd welcome you a little bit into my world uh, today. So we're here uh, in the studio where we've uh, been filming a, you know, a learning series. But actually, I want to talk about how we can use video in learning and development. What innovations and changes have there been that people might not be aware of? One of the learning trends we're seeing a lot of at the moment in certain industries is the use of augmented reality and virtual reality. Do you see that as um, meaning the end of video in learning? If you think about what AR and VR is, it's still a kind of form of, of video, but it's a niche form. So I think video's still got a lot of strengths. I think the new technologies strengthen it further and give us more opportunity, in fact. And I think the other thing that video retains is flexibility of access. So there's been lots of technological changes over the last few years. What sort of impact do you think those changes are having on video? Cameras have got better, uh, sound's got better, editing's got better, uh, cheaper as well. The changes that I'm more excited about now are about access. YouTube's had a massive impact because it's meant that video is accessible to everyone as their first port of call for learning. And I think we're a bit on our back foot with that from a business point of view. So when we think about video learning in business, we still think of it as being a big thing. Whereas in fact, video learning has impacted every other aspect of our lives 100%. So what do you think YouTube has done to video trends in general? It has changed how we want to absorb our new facts and our new techniques. We want to have a look at little clips. I think the challenge to all of us from a business learning point of view is to adopt and adapt those micro-learning, immediate learning ideas and bring it into our world. So given all these changes, do you think learning and e-learning professionals are thinking more about using video? I think they are, but there's a couple of reasons why they might not be thinking about it as often as they could. The first reason might be about still some perception of cost and difficulty. And the second reason why is actually around how learning's done. So if you imagine you're quite often given text to, ad to adapt into e-learning, but actually could we make it much quicker, much better if we took a leap and said, let's turn that text into moving images of some kind. So I think once we overcome those two uh, barriers, then actually video becomes much more accessible, much easier for people to get a handle on. One of the perceptions is that it's too expensive. What sort of costs are we talking about to create video? I've done pieces that have cost like a thousand pounds, but I've done pieces that have cost hundred thousand. There can be a solution. If you think as an e-learning provider or as a business leader that needs training, if you think video is going to be the right way to do it, I'd be pretty convinced that we could be able to help. So there's probably several different styles of video that they could be thinking about. What are some of these? So some examples might be drama, where we kind of act out a scene to show an example, or we might use uh, kind of characters to bring ideas to life. But we could do documentary where we go out and explore a topic or an issue. There's motion graphics, you know, moving text, moving images. There's kind of vox pops where we go out and interview people on the street. Testimonials where we speak to your clients or your customers about what's really working for them, maybe what isn't. And, and of course that sort of new YouTube type which is user generated. Maybe it's not about me coming and filming, maybe it's about the people on the front line doing the filming and then just getting someone like myself to edit those up and draw conclusions. How do you think learning professionals could innovate more with video? I think the first thing that professionals need to be doing is actually taking on board how simple and easy video is. That they can bring back the immediacy to video. We're carrying around now really good quality video cameras on our, on our phones. We've got that in our pocket all the time they're ready to use. If you don't capture it then and there, we're kind of lacking it. We're sort of letting people down by not having it. Even if I then come and recreate that later, for me to have that as a case study to copy is, is invaluable. And yet also often the, the, ca the camera stays in people's pockets and it's a shame. 
If I wanted to capture best practice, have you got any tips for doing that? If you, if you can film some, some bits, I can probably use them. You know, that's how great the, 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 the cameras are now in phones. Just kind of hold it that way. Don't do the, the old up and down. Hold it that way. You know, frame it up. Don't be moving it around, jerking it. Go and get it as steady as you can. If you want to move, move nice and slow and steady. And if you want to do sound, we've really got to be as close as we can because the closer we are, the, the better the sound's going to be picked up. And people could be out there capturing those great, maybe once in a lifetime, bits of learning. And you could bring a sort of a revolution to your, to your, to your teams by just sort of sharing, have you seen this? Have you tried it this way? And I think it would change, uh, change the whole learning environment, just that one small tweak to behavior. That immediacy, I think that's the key word that I want people to take away from this. Uh, interview is get more immediate and more responsive with your video. So that was just a brief insight into using video in learning. We hope that it's given you some thought and inspiration to using video in your role.